What if someone shady shows up? These hey, types so, so the car, there's this the thing. But keep your eyes open. For a favor. Nader looks like a pot for help me. Well, I did that to him. All right, fine. You wouldn't agree anyway. Come on. I didn't do anything wrong. Stephen, a filthy herb brother will decide my husband's fate. Is that why you got a medical degree? To go running to quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our only chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong. But he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They worked like an antibiotic. But still, I, people here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something gather the wrong herb or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison. Which has happened plenty. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we don't find out what happened there? Exactly. Right, where can I find this healer? on COVID Island. Don't worry, you can trust Margaret.
an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. Shh. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How'd you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. There'd been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then, all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. They're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I'm only trying to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the Renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Ader. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well... Perhaps it's a chance to help more people. It's 
this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the Recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. But it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. I'll remember. We'll regret this, I assure you. Hey, Luan, I need your help. Sure you do. What's up? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I'd look. It's a lead.
I got a favor to ask. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime! Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Aiden, give me those herbs. I forbid it! Keep that witch's poison away from I him! I can give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the medicine was for? She killed his men! She should have hanged for that, but Jack Mack had ate or burn her eyes out instead! What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I... I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. And what'll happen to him now? If all goes well, he should start to wake up soon. And then we'll find out who did this to him. All thanks to you. Up. I wanted to officially thank you. Aita's back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a coma. Or worse. I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philidor. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Coffee. Or a day off. I know you don't like it, but I got a favor to ask. Probably 
something with that redhead. How'd it go? Having the power of my gun will change the tide of the war. I hear the PK engineers are working on a lot.
This here's a party, and you're the pinata. <laughs> 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 That is beautiful. What song is that? Oh, a very old one. Where I come from, the women sing, so their men return home from sea safely. So you were singing to someone in particular? To my betrothed. Though he will never return again. He died during the bombing of the city. I, uh, I'm sorry. Eleven years have passed and I still think of him. I feel like someone has cursed me. Even the fact that I am here today. That's because of him. How's that? He won't laugh. No. Before the evacuation, I hid a few mementos in a safe at my office. I thought, if I could get them back, all those old thoughts would stop tormenting me. Mementos of him? Yes, letters. They're very personal. Alas, that office building is a complete ruin now. I would have to learn to fly to get in there. Well, I can help you. You could do that. It's that office building over there. Right, in the safe? In my office. Upstairs in the personnel department. Turn the dial twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Got that? Can you repeat that? Twice to the right, once to the left, once to the right. Will you remember? I'll remember. It is nice of you to help me. But I don't even know who you are. Well, my name's Aiden. And I'm Charlotte. Thank you, Aiden. Nah, it's nothing. Wait here for me.
department. to the right. Once to the left. Once to the right. Yeah, it worked.
Found the safe. Here. These are all of them. You're certain? All the ones from the safe. They're beautiful. The jackass knew how to write. Too bad he didn't only write them to me. You know what he said right before he died? That he loved another woman and regretted she wasn't there beside him. I'll never forgive him for that. What are you doing? Freeing myself from him. Eleven years I've tried to do this. But failed. I've wanted so badly to erase him from my memory, but I keep thinking of these damned letters. The only proof that anything ever bound us. And now he's gone. Without a trace. I... I don't know what to say. Hey! Why the long face? Lighten up, Aiden. You really helped me. I feel like someone has lifted my curse. There were some valuables in the safe, too. Take them if you want. Are you sure? I'm done living in the past. Farewell, Charlotte. Take care. Farewell, Aiden. Hee <laughs> 